Hello YouTube, this is EBD, Yes Man Sky, another No Man Sky tutorial on Exocrafts. Yes, this is the Minotaur. Everything you wanted to know about how to manage your fleet of Exocrafts, to extend your reach on barren planets, this is uh, the good old Exocraft Summoner. You can create this in your build menu. This summoner allows you to deploy an Exocraft pretty much on any planet. You see over here I have my Nomad Station. This is the Nomad Exocraft, one of my personal favorites, kind of like a hovercraft. So here I live in the dream in No Man's Sky. Okay. So this is a nice, high-energy planet. We suffer from a lot of radiation damage here. But there's interesting uh, animals. Some kind of a lizard, dragonfly bird, dinosaur thingy. But I love the, uh, I love the cliffs, the red sands of this planet. The yellow haze. This is uh, one of my preferred crafts, the Blue Hornet. And this is a little casa that I've built on this planet. So let's go ahead and check out the Nomad. Here we go. Whoa. We need to not customize the Nomad, but we're going to get into the Nomad. Now, every exocraft is like a ship or your multi-tool, or your suit. When you press into your Exocraft display screen, you see that you can essentially build all kinds of uh, components, uh, engines, scanners, shields, uh, element protection, and you have an inventory. You can, you can extend this inventory, so essentially double what you have in your exosuit. So when traveling around a planet, it can be pretty, pretty helpful uh, when you're playing a normal mode game. So this Exocraft I've set up to also scan, so I can actually scan and see things without the visor. I get a better view with the visor, and also with the visor I can, I can save, I can kind of, uh, excuse me, not save things, but um, deploy markers. So like, let's go, go grab this, uh, it's some sort of a buried technology. What we got here? Okay. Whoop. Yeah, buried cash. Nice. <clears throat> so that was pretty quick. It's pretty 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 quick to get these things. Whoa. Not that I got anything good at all, because I didn't. Uh, but scan and repeat. Let's head this direction. We'll search. The Exocraft moves quicker. The Exocraft has a boost. The Nomad in particular, let's just see what this is. That looks good. The Nomad in particular can actually, um, oh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, really? Oh my gosh, this guy is been attacked by all kinds of creatures on this planet. That was not what uh, we were hoping for. Okay, thank you for that. Oh, now I gotta deal with these guys? Alright, well, I'll sh the Exocraft can also get you out of sticky situations like this where you've triggered the Sentinels and you have a battle on your hands and you're just like, dude, I don't, I can't, ha I, I'm not in the mood for this. I, I, I'm not ready to commit to this battle right now. I'm I'm saving myself for the larger battle. So you could just kind of jump in. And usually the Exocrafts, I think with the exception of the Minotaur, they're faster than the Sentinels. The Sentinels will start searching and they'll drop off pretty quick. Now, one of the cool features of the Nomad is that you can actually go vertical and you can take this Nomad right up the face of a cliff. So that's kind of weird and wild, but very helpful when you're traversing something with a lot of deep canyons. Let's do a little scan up here. 
Where's the action? There it is. Look at how easy it is to find things. So I, I could find more things if I used my visor. So here, let's get out and just use the visor, see the difference. You see that I can actually see a lot of buried technology modules uh, that I couldn't see with just the scan from the Exocraft. So I ultimately think that the, that the uh, your Exo tool scan is much more powerful than the Exocraft scan, but you could do both just to keep it, keep it flowing. Technology, thank you. Back into the good old Nomad. The Nomad protects you from elements. The Nomad has a mining laser. You could, I could do some mining operations here. It also has a weapon, so, you know, if things get crazy, you could say, listen, uh, I think rocket, uh, there's an animal trying to attack me. Hey, I gotta get away. You know, just defense only. Always defense only, okay? No sentinel battles today. We're taking it easy, all right? Let's go ahead, let's scan. One of the other cool features about these exo crafts is the ability to scan for types of buildings. So, if I hit uh, the good old exo craft menu, which we hit and it went away, there's an exo craft radar. Go ahead and uh, select that. I'm gonna scan for a drop pod because that's helpful. And uh, let's see what we've revealed. Look at that drop pod right over here. Let's see how far it is. Six minutes. Forget that. So this is a time where I'm going to jump out of the good old Exocraft. And I get out of here. There we go. And I'm actually going to summon the ship, the Blue Hornet, because uh, it is going to be a lot quicker. There's always some animal attacking me on this planet, you know? Oh, it's that guy. Always attacking me every time. All right, we're going to go to a drop pod, buddy. So I can leave my Exocraft there. No problem. No problem. We can transmute things. So we'll just transmute it later. Now, notice how it's only 20 seconds in the ship. Much better. Now, if I wanted to go the full distance, I could pick up all the things along the way, which is not a bad move. But, you know, if I just want to grab the drop pod, this is the way that I do it. So let's head to the... We're almost there. I'm going to show you how to get back into the Exocraft after making it to the drop pod. Here we go. Do a little soft landing. Beautiful. Accuracy 100%. Okay. And uh, into the pod we go. I don't believe that I've really built this character out quite yet, so... Yes, yes, yes! Uh, I like to extend... ...that area. Okay, perfect! So now we're like, hey, we have to get back into the, uh... ...the Exocraft. Oh my gosh, I'm not even joking. The, my phone is just texting and texting and texting, so... If it texts one more time, I'm going to have to stop. All right. It stopped texting. Here we go. So to summon the Exocraft, just right back to the summon mode. And there's the Nomad. Now there's also another Exocraft, and it's called the Minotaur. This animal has this... Uh, this, this planet has this bear-like creature. Yeah. You guys did... Yeah, you didn't know that, huh? My Minotaur is going to protect me from you, buddy. So that's a cool feature of the Minotaur. So I get, apparently this has aggressive dinosaurs that I didn't really understand. The Minotaur is not going to attack the non-aggressive species, but the species that's going to attack me, that Minotaur has got my back. Cool thing about the Minotaur also is you can actually go inside of it and it becomes kind of like a Voltron-y exo shell. But it also, with the right installs and where you install, all of the features for your Exocraft is in the in the um, options screen. You have an Exocraft tab, and you can see where I've installed some uh, Minotaur lasers and uh, indium stabilizers and fuel systems. So you can really customize each of these Exocrafts, which is fantastic. But this one has AI, meaning that it'll always work without me. <clears throat> and... Uh, yeah, that's kind of just a, like a little basic uh, overview on uh, 
exocrafts and uh, how to use them on planets. I'm sure there, there's lots of other tricks, but uh, in this short video, I've covered uh, just the basics. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful game, wonderful day, wonderful week. 